Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here, welcome to the next episode. In this episode we are finally leaving the snow fields and going to check out that new area. Outway Cave! This intense cave system stretches far into the depths of the earth. Oh, right. So let's check out the cave. The cave is also another level where is, there is no day variant of it. There is purely only a night element to it. But uh, when we come back here to clean it out, uh, for all the star photos and requests, we're gonna be here for a while. So there's a lot to do here. But I'm gonna wait, but I'm gonna progress with the story for a little bit before we even try to uh, clear this place out. So here we are flying in the caves. And there's tons of Pokemon to see. So it's carping. Gro uh, I was about to say Grobat. Crobat. And even little Joltics everywhere. But what will we find in this cave? You have mysterious Pokemon like Gengar. You will see these portals throughout the level if you play music or throw Illuminal Orbs at them, generally playing music. Uh, you will get Gengar to pop its head out. Look at this lovely area. I remember the uh, cave music being really peaceful. Even bear ticks here in this level, although I would not recommend this place for a bear tick photo, because obviously you're never going to get a good bear tick photo here. Oop, a bunch of crowbats just flew by. And I missed them. Oh, can you do... Really? Oh, I could go for the photo, but... And we have these crow gunks just chilling out. And these crow gunks are going to be Pokemon of interest later. Yeah, you can just see a sable eye hiding there. There's even Gengar walking by. That crystal bloom and you'll get some noise bats to fly out. You'll even get a nice little glow glow effect. Rare gemstones embedded in the walls and the ceiling. You also see uh, these rampardos having a go at the crowbats. I absolutely love uh, Rampardos. I think it's a really nice looking Pokemon. It's definitely one of my favorite fossil Pokemon. Here, come eat an apple. Nice. And it's Appy. Oh, I see another opportunity for a photo. And ooh, you dude. I oh yeah, I for completely forgot about you dude's free star. I wonder if it's even doable in this uh, stage yet. Also, Gengar was checking out our teleportation point. 
yeah, there's going to be a lot of requests to do here. Most I'm going to be saving until level 3. Let's head on back. Do, 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 do. Welcome back. Welcome back. I can't wait to see the Pokemon in this light. Ooh, that's a two star Crobat. I can just get one from bopping one later, so I'll submit that one star. two-star Carbank. That is a two-star Joltik. I don't know what it's doing in the photo to be a two-star, but okay. Geodude hanging out. Gengar, when it's poking its head out of its shadows, that is a three-star. Ooh, that's also a two-star Gengar. I'll get the two-star because the three-star is really easy to get. Okay, we got Krogunk just chilling. Two star Sableye. One star Noibat. Ooh, I forgot that was considered the free. I might as well grab the free now. Because I forget if we can get the free easily later. Now then, let's see what we got. A new discovery. Oh, it's Crobat! Add a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. A sweet diamond. A new discovery. Next, we got Carbink. A new addition to our research. Work. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice work. Keep it up. And of course, it's a bronze. A new discovery. Next is Joltik, a new addition to our research. Nice work. It looks curious. What about I wonder? Nice work. Keep it up. Uh, silver, I can take that. Next is Geodude. This is the first time you got in as your subject. Nice work. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Golden Geodude. A new discovery. Next is Gengar, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Looks curious. What about I wonder? Nice work. Keep it up. Next, we've got Bravery. That's one cool Pokemon. Looks like it's fast asleep. Nice work. Keep it up. Next, we've got Bear Tick. It looks bigger than I expected. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Yeah, as you can see, not worth getting a Bear Tick photo on the stage. Next is Glalie. Ailey, this is the first. At first glance, it seems frightening. And of course, that's a bad pose. A new discovery. Next is Krogunk, a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Looks like it's fast asleep. Nice work. Keep it up. Try getting up close to Pokemon's faces too. Next, we've got Sableye, a new addition to our research. Nice work. It looks curious. What about, I wonder? Nice work. Keep it up. And of course, we got a bronze Sableye. A new discovery. Now, I will be shocked if this is not a diamond or gold. Next is Noivart, 
a new addition to our research. I see it's in flight. Nice work. Keep it up. Uh, at least it's the gold. Like, again, I would have been shocked if it was anything less. A new discovery. Next, we got Rampardos. A new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Now you don't see this every day. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Let's see those points. Yep, we're gonna level up. Look at that! You've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes no matter how small. The Dark Collector. We've registered 10 species of dark types. And we got some new research. Do 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 do. Let's check out what new research has become available to us. For the K's, we got Crobat Touches Down, which is, can actually be a pretty, pretty difficult one if you don't know exactly what you're doing. I wonder if Crobat could ever come down to the ground to eat fluff fruit. It's a bit clumsy walker, so I doubt it lands without a good reason. Take a good hard look. GG sometimes shifts position, but I've never actually observed it moving. Gengar the Prankster. Gengar keeps popping out of, out of nowhere and playing its tricks. I'm a little worried about that sleeping crow gunk. Sound asleep. I found a sleeping Sableye. I bet you would just love to know where it is, huh? Ha! Huh, too bad. An anger outlet. Ramporos has this one habit. You could call it its specialty. I guess it's so something you can probably imagine it doing when it's mad. So, with that run done, in the next episode, we'll do level 2 of the caves. Maybe try and get some of those research done, because uh, I think some of them can be due on level 2. Uh, the others, I think, can only be do done on level 1 or 3. So, if you enjoyed this episode, do like the video. It helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Eddie, leave a comment if you like, and I'll see you in the next episode. Later.